This video is going to be about the volume of a prism and the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. Now, depending on what kind of base you have determines what type of formula you're going to use. Here we have a pentagon for our base and that's going to be rather atypical. That's not something you're going to really see in our textbook. However, if you wanted to solve for this, you could separate it into a quadrilateral and a triangle. Um, so if your base, let's say, was a rectangle, you'd use length times width, and then you'd multiply it by the height. Let's go ahead and take a look at one just like that. Here we have a prism. The width is 10, the length is 6, and the height is 14. So we'll go ahead and multiply 10 times 6, which is 60. And 60 times 14 is 840. This is going to be inches cubed. Because we're talking about volume here, all our answers are going to be cubed. Taking a look at a second example, Here we have a triangular prism, and the formula for our triangle is one-half base times height. So we're going to put in one-half, eight times five, and that of course gives us 20, and then we multiply that by 12, which gives us an area of 200 meters cubed. Again, we're cubing it because it is volume. So for these two examples, one I used the area of a rectangle, the other one I used an area of a triangle to, for my base. The volume of a cylinder works in a lot in the same way. It's the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height. So, where with a rectangular prism, the base is going to differ based on what type of base you have. The, rec the cylinder is not going to differ. You always, you're always dealing with a circle, so it's always going to be the area of the circle times the height. So volume equals base times height, or volume equals pi times r squared times height. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example of this. Here we have a cylinder, and the radius is 6 centimeters, and the height is 20 centimeters. So it's going to be pi times 3 squared times 20. Remember, we're looking for radius here, so that's why I'm using 3 instead of 6. It's a very common mistake to use 6, or whatever the diameter is, for your formula. Always be aware that you're looking for a radius, not diameter. Squaring my 9, I get, or I'm sorry, squaring my 3, I get 9. And then I multiply that by 20 to get 180. And uh, my final step is to multiply that by pi. And so my final volume is approximately 251.2 centimeters cubed. Again, we're dealing with volume here, so our answer does need to be cubed. If you don't cube it on your quiz or test, I will take points off. So, things to remember. The area of the base depends on the polygon. So, really, all you're doing is finding the area of the base and multiplying it by the height. And that base is going to be dependent upon the shape. And when you're looking for the volume of a cylinder, be sure you're using the radius, not the diameter. If they give you the diameter, you're going to have to divide that in two to find the radius. Always be sure you're using the radius. Also, all your answers for volume will be cubed, will be to the third power. Squaring is for area, cubing is for volume. 